According to President Mnangagwa, foreign observers should be objective and refrain from drawing judgments that would cast doubt on Wednesday's elections. At the penultimate provincial star rally for the ruling party held yesterday in his home province of Midlands at the Tom Kogra Business Center. Shuragui, he addressed tens of thousands of ZANU PF supporters. He stated, We have invited observer groups from SADC, the region, and beyond. As I have told to all the observer missions, Kindly do not come to observe us from your homes or your nations with predetermined judgments. Bring an open mind with you. We are a tranquil nation. I am pleased that the peaceful electoral processes have been followed by all of our political parties running in the present election. I am glad that so far practically everyone has made a vow to refrain from using violence, this is how it should be. However the ZANU PF party is leading the charge in advocating for non-violence and decrying violence. Against violence in whatever form, we firmly object. We reject all hate speech since we are from the same family. He advised observers to adhere to their duty and refrain from abusing their authority. He said, we have nothing to conceal. All 45 nations, 17 continental regional organizations, and all embassies and consulates have been invited. In particular, we have invited each and every one of the SADC members. They are our brothers and sisters, and we do everything together. Our past are related. We all experience colonization, and we battle for democracy and independence. We warmly invite these election observer missions to visit our wonderful nation. They must appreciate our hospitality, we have very gracious folks. Zimbabwe continues to be a sovereign nation, thus I urge the observation missions to adhere to their terms of reference under the code of conduct of their work. The president said that no one was entitled to give ZANU PF advice on democracy because the group spent 16 years fighting for democracy, independence, freedom, and sovereignty in Zimbabwe. He declared, We are enshrined, ING, democracy, constitutionalism, decent governance, and human rights. Let me be clear nobody is competent to instruct us in democracy. Our freedom and democracy were never handed to us on a silver platter. We engaged in an armed conflict for 16 years straight in order to achieve independence. Therefore, our battles were for independence and freedom. So, since we fought for and won democracy, no one should take on the responsibility of teaching it to us. President Umnam Gogwa claimed that despite the illegitimate sanctions the West had placed on the nation, Zimbabwe was making progress toward achieving its developmental goals. During the past three years, our economy has expanded at a rate greater than 5%. Our economy is one of the fastest growing in our area. In this year's elections, he pleaded with the populace to expose those who support violence. Let us humiliate them by remaining non-violent and by practicing peace. Let us humiliate them by admitting them despite their opposition to the ZANU PF regime. The former president of Mozambique, Joaquim Ceseno, who was present at the event, received special praise from the president. The special facilitator for Zimbabwe's debt and arrears clearance program, which is being led by the African Development Bank, is the former president Ceseno. During the Liberation War, President Umnangogwa claimed to have collaborated closely with former president Ceseno. He continued, my loving brother and I shared trenches in 1963 when he was in Prilamo and I was in Zen. First Lady Auxilia Pumnengogwa was with the President. Senior party and government officials, including Vice President Dr. Constantino Chiwenga, ZANU PF Second Secretary CDE, Kembo Mohadi, and Party Chair Opa Machinguri Kashiri, also attended the Star Rally.